If you enjoy the Ranveer show, this is the channel for you. You don't have to consume every single podcast, but you have to binge watch all the clips on this channel. It's TRS Clips. I have to take you back to Megafauna. Hmm. Let's <laughs> let's go back in the timeline a little bit. Um, human beings weren't at the top of the food chain when we started out. We were second. Strange enough, Sapiens talks about it. uh we were second to the apex predators mm -hmm. and that's why that's how we survive we were sort of scavengers they would kill we would steal their meat i see um what would a life with megafauna around you be like imagine you're like just walking on the road and some massive bird comes and just picks you up and takes <laughs> you away <laughs> some giant elephant sized tiger comes and like attacks you how do animals even grow that big and how did the dinosaurs grow that big for that matter Right, right. That's a very good question. So, animals grow that large only when there's an um, incredible abundance of food, whatever it is that they eat. So, let's say you have a phase of of the Earth's evolutionary history in which you have warm climate and incredibly rich forests, which uh, give essentially inex inexhaustible food supply to herbivorous animals in that case it is fine for those herbivorous animals uh, animals to evolve gradually over millennia into very large sizes because the environment can sustain that sort of size and maybe it's an evolutionary advantage to have that sort of size the largest animal that we know has ever existed on the planet is the blue whale which still exists today mm. it is the most mega of megafauna right and it evolved this large because there was there still is a very large supply of what's called plankton in the oceans which are extremely small crustaceans right so these whales have these baleen uh, teeth that they used to eat these crustaceans the plankton so megafauna typically evolve when there is incredible plentitude of whatever food they eat there used to be this serpent called titanoboa i think it lived about 10 20 30 million years before today it was like the the father of all anacondas you know massive massive snake and of course we had those uh, the, the the animal called the megatherium which was nothing but a giant sloth that could grow like three times the human size and humans used to hunt that <laughs> yes humans used to hunt that imagine a big lazy animal just take him out take like out <laughs> So we, our ancestors, did coexist with some of these megafauna. The megatherium was one of those. Uh, the the giant mammoths were also megafauna that lived, uh, that coexisted with humans. We hunted them into extinction. The mammoths. I think as recently as five thousand BC or four thousand BC. Uh, roughly around ten thousand years before today, maybe seven, eight thousand BC. Okay. Maybe around that time, possibly five thousand BC. I'm not very sure, but maybe. So. it is our ancestors that hunted the mammoths into extinction it is our ancestors that hunted the megatherium into extinction we seem to have hunted everything large into extinction there used to be these giant birds in australia called thunderbirds or whatever big huge birds they also were hunted into extinction by human beings because they easy targets easy targets the larger you are you may be very massive and scary but you can if you if you if you have a intelligent predator the predator can take you out and you are actually easy picking for, for for a predator like the humans so as far as we know we are the deadliest species that's ever lived on the planet physically we are the puniest species our smaller relatives the chimpanzees and orangutans are way more powerful you know stronger physically stronger than us the gorillas are massive we are nothing compared to them but we can outmatch them in intelligence and the number two predator on the planet apart from humans is the dog because they decided to coexist with us and they allowed us to domesticate them and we formed an unbeatable team humans and dogs together and the apex predator in the oceans is not the great white shark it is the orca the orca lives all across the oceans of the world from the warmest oceans to the coldest oceans and they even eat great white sharks but they only eat the livers they only eat the livers the livers why do you think that is most nutritious organ why not the rest of the flesh ah, not worth it maybe i don't know what it is but they eat livers <laughs> um orcas also depending on which part of the globe they're from they have their own culture yes they do Yeah, they they own hunting styles. They They're teach own, that. Yeah, they own dances. They pass it on through generations. If you enjoyed this video, just know that this entire channel is full of playlists that'll take you down different pathways of learning, all sorts of subjects, all sorts of genres, all sorts of guests. But the one commonality 
lots of knowledge enjoy trs clips